Card number 27. Card number 27. Who's this guy? David Kimchi. David Kimchi. Card number 27. Senior Israeli intelligence official, David Kimchi. David Kimchi, a 30-year Mossad Israeli intelligence veteran, directed Israeli foreign ministry until 1986. In February 1982, Kimchi and National Security Advisor Robert McFarlane, C-Card 28, arrived at a secret plan, pl arrived at a secret plan for Israeli participation in U.S. covert actions in Central America. First, Israeli military advisors trained uh, Guatemalan and Honduran armed forces. Then, after Isra Israel captured tons of East Bloc weapons from the PLO during its June 1982 invasion of Lebanon, Israel offered to send these weapons to the Contras in return for favorable prices on U.S. fighter planes. The Reagan administration agreed to this proposal, and the Pentagon assigned Richard Secord, C-Card No. 19, to oversee the weapons shipments. Shortly after being visited by the NC NSC's Michael Leiden in May 1985, Kimchi began to promote Manucher Gor Gorbenfar's credentials to American officials, see card number 26. By August, he had convinced McFarlane and Oliver North, see card number 13, that Gorbenfar's contacts could produce CIA agent William Buckley and other hostages, see card number 25, in return for generous shipments of weapons to Iran. The Iran Initiative Arms for Hostages plan failed, but Israel, Israel continued to supply weapons to the Contras through 1986. One arms network was run by former Mossad agent named Mike Herrera, a close associate of Panama's drug dealing General Noriega, Manuel Noriega, while supplying East Bloc arms to the Contras. Herrera was also shipping Medellin cartel cocaine out of Panama. See card number 11. Mossad, working closely with the CIA to send weapons to Iran and weapons to South America. You can't make this shit up for real. For real. 